guys, this is Cool Tutorials here, and I am showing you a tutorial for the program uh, Photo Filtry, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And it's how to make a blend, sometimes used as a background, sometimes as signs, etc. But I'm going to show you how to make a blend. So let's open up the program. And, um, well, first, I'm going to. Here's uh, what we are going to be making exactly. Mine is of Lady Gaga. And this is an example one. Okay. So, what you're going to do um, is start out with two pictures that you're going to use. Open one. Open two. Okay. After you have those two pictures. Now, I'm going to use this large one as my background picture so that it looks like this. So then I put the, the shorter one on top of it. Okay. So, we're going to put this one down. Okay. What First, what you're going to do is you're going to copy this and paste it as a new image. Okay. Then, with your new image... You're going to use this polygon tool right here, and you are going to cut out your figure. So, just the left side though. So, just like this. Okay, just keep. not going to be that precise because this one's just an example. Okay, let go along the side. All the way up. Across. And out. Okay. So, here you have your two colors over here. You're going to want this second color to be anything but black or white. So I used pink. And then you're going to right click on what you just cut out, you're going to click clear. As you see, it's now that color. Okay, now, here's what you have to do next. You are going to go over to transparency mask and click it. Okay, for tolerance, you're going to put it all the way to zero. And make sure this is your color that you selected. Okay? So, put your tolerance to zero, make sure that's your color, and click OK. To the you have this. So you can kind of see the outline of what you just cut out. What you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste it as a new image, then close out on the one you just made. You don't have to save it. Okay. So now you have this image. What you're going to do next is you're going to go to Filter, and then you are going to go to, I think, it's down here. Nope, nope, nope. One second. It's one of these. Okay, Visual Effect. So, Filter, Visual Effect, then Gaussian Blur. You're going to click it, and I'm going to go around to three pixels, depending on the blur you want. But three pixels is pretty good. Three or four, I'd say. Okay, so then you're going to select. Okay. That's what you got. Okay. Going to copy it. Paste it as a new image. Close it. No. Okay. So basically you just have the same thing. Now, what you're going to do is copy this one. You're going to open up the original one, and then you're going to go to Edit, Paste Special, and then Assemble, Write, OK. OK, there you go. You can just put this down. You got this. Your image next to your blurred image silhouette. What you're going to do now? Copy it, put that down, and open up your main image. Okay, 
Well, first you're going to want to increase your canvas size, a little, the width of your canvas size, and you're going to want to make sure it's on this one. Not the center one, this one. Okay, so you want to increase your width. Well, I'm just going to go by 200. You're going to click OK. Today, you got that. Now, you're, now um, like I said, you're supposed to... You're supposed to copy this. Okay, now you click on this. Make sure that's the one you have it. Then you're going to do paste special, and then you, um, I, it's image with linked mask. Okay, because, and then when you put your image together, you have this. Now I want to do it in the corner right here kind of like my final one that I showed you. Well, um, that's how you make a blend. But uh, for an effect, I want to I want to paste another one of these in. And I'm just going to turn this. I'm going to use the transform horizontal. Turn it around so I have two. Okay? So then you've got your blend. That's how you do it. This rectangle tool, you could cut out the image that you want to use. You could copy it, and then you could go paste this new image, and then you've got your blend.